Hello, this is Dr. Bartosz of Proactive Wellness and Injury Center, and what I'd like to do is to continue our discussion regarding those things that we may be subjecting ourselves to in our life that might be contributing to the development of, uh, of breast cancer in our lives or certainly increasing our potential. Remember, as I've said before previously, if you see these things and you can identify with them, understand that these will affect your potential of developing breast cancer. On this list, uh, the first one that we want to talk about are oral contraceptives, that is birth control pills. Um, regardless of whether you've taken the contraceptives to regulate your acne or to, to um, regulate your cycles or for the fact of uh, birth control, nonetheless, those individuals who have a history of being on oral contraceptives. Now the length of time is about four to five years or longer. They have a, a, an increased potential of developing breast cancer. Also those who have been on hormone replacement therapy. Look, years ago it was touted as the answer, the cure for the, the sweats and the, and, the, and the hot and cold and all of that other stuff. Ladies, Hormone replacement therapy, those, they're, they're now admitting that those people on that have a, a greater potential for breast cancer. Also, your lifestyle, if you're obese or if you're sedentary, the, the more weight you carry, the longer you carry it, the more toxic the internal workings of the body are, the more acidic that body is, and the more prone it is to uh, allowing cancer to develop. And of course, sedentary lifestyles. Folks, you know, we sit around in this day and age. I mean, most of the day, most of the time, you find us sitting. We don't have any oxygen deficits or deficiencies. You know, we, we need to have increased oxygen in our body. And, um, and by doing that, it will kill, it will help to suppress or kill off cancer cells. We'll talk about that in, a, in another uh, session, perhaps. Also, those people who consume two or more alcoholic beverages or drinks in a day, uh, on a regular basis and on a regular basis the research shows four out of seven days two or more alcoholic drinks a day and then also increased radiation now you might be scratching your head and saying, well what's he mean by that I, I'm not around any radioactive or, or, or atomic reactors or whatever ladies when you heat or cook around the microwave get away from it because there's radiation being emitted if you're sitting for long periods of time in front of your television or your your computer for that matter understand that radiation is being emitted and for those of you who love these cell phones and that you know we're, we're, we're it's we're connected to them every time you put it up to you radiation is being emitted and um, and guys you're not exempt either you know we carry them around in our pockets as long as the cell phone is on it's attracting all the radio waves that are coming by to select that particular one that is your number and as long as it's on that radiation is being uh, directed toward your organs of reproduction ladies a lot of you carry it in your handbag and that handbag is underneath usually around the breast area radiation is coming into that area or if you're carrying it lower again the radiation that we are that we are subjected to all of these things in and of themselves increase the potential for you uh, to develop breast cancer however if you see one or two or three or four more you've got to understand that your potential is increasing substantially well I hope this has helped I hope if you if you haven't seen the other installment please I, I'd suggest you go ahead and do that I hope this information has been a, be a benefit to you if you have any questions or comments we'd love to hear from you in that so until our next installment because now I've told you what may be contributing we're going to talk about things you can do to lessen the potential so until then God bless